Welcome to our last video lesson on Venn diagram. So again, I am Ma'am Bernadette C. Regalado. Or you can call me Ma'am Bade. So this will be my last video lesson after two topics. So let's go back to our module 3, Venn diagram. For our content standard, the learner demonstrates the key concepts of sets. Performance standard, the learner is able to formulate challenging situations involving sets and solve this in the variety of strategies. And their component, it is on number sense. So again, for the competency, solve problems involving sets with the use of Venn diagram. So we are now on lesson 3, problem solving, applying the Venn diagram. So I will be showing you series of example, a real life example, wherein we could apply Venn diagram. So please pause the video. And prepare your module at the same time scratch paper because we'll be solving a series of problems. Okay. Our objectives. At the end of the lesson, the students should be able to solve problems involving Venn diagram, relate Venn diagram in real life situations. Okay, so in a group of 25 high school students, 14 students use Facebook, 10 use Twitter, and 3 do not use any of the social media. Okay, here are the questions. How many use FB only? How many use Twitter only? And how many use both social networking sites? So it could either be Facebook and Twitter. Okay, based on sa problem natin, ang given po natin, the universal set, there are 25 students. Next, the number of students who use Facebook, 14. So, we use set F. Para mas madaling matanda. And then, the number of students who use Twitter, and we use set E, 10 students. And aside from that, there are 3 students po Eh, hindi gumagamit ng Facebook or Twitter. So, that means it is a complement of the union of the Facebook and Twitter. Okay, so how are we going to solve the problem to be able to answer the questions, three questions? Okay, first step. We have to add yung number of students na maggumagamit ng Facebook at Twitter. Kaya, 14 plus 10 equals... 24. So, pagkatapos, i-add naman natin yung 24 plus 3. So, there are 27. So, ito pala lahat yung gumagamit ng Facebook, ng Twitter, at hindi gumagamit. So, di ba sobra siya sa 25? Kasi, di ba ang total number of students natin, 25. So, anong sunod mong gagawin? So, that is 27 minus 25 equals 2. So, anong ibig sabihin ng 2? So, ito yung gumagamit ng Facebook at Twitter. Okay, next. After po nyan, anong next? Bakit 14 minus 2? Kasi diba sabi natin, yung gumagamit ng Facebook, 14. Yung gumagamit ng Facebook at Twitter 2. So, pag sinubtract po natin yan, ang sagot na po ay 12. So, ano yung 12? Ito yung 12 students na gumagamit ng Facebook lang po. Okay. Next. 10 minus 2. Bakit tayo nag minus 2 sa 10? Kasi sabi natin yung 10, yun yung gumagamit ng Twitter. Yung 2, yun yung gumagamit ng Facebook and Twitter. 
So, ibig sabihin, yung 8, sila yung gumagamit ng Twitter lang. Hindi na nag-Facebook. Okay, so now we can now write the conclusion. So, the conclusion, there are 12 students who uses Facebook. So, sagutan na natin. So, galing po yun dito sa solution natin dito. Next, there are 8 students who uses Twitter. And the last question, there are 2 students who uses both social networking sites. So, ibig sabihin, gumagamit sila ng Facebook at the same time, gumagamit din po siya ng Twitter. Okay. So, ganyan po yung pag-solve po natin. Okay, what if gumamit tayo ng Venn Diagram? So, ito yung universal set natin, di ba? So, sabi natin, there are 25 students. So, lahat dito, ang total lang dapat 25. Next, bakit nilagay natin yung 3 sa labas? Nasa universal set. Kasi ito yung 3 na hindi gumagamit ng Facebook or Twitter. So, lahat ng hindi gumagamit or the total number of students na hindi gumagamit ng either ng Facebook at Twitter sa labas po nyo isusulat sa my universal set. Now, let us have the first set, yung ating Facebook students na gumagamit ng Facebook. So, ilan lahat yon? 14. So, dito natin isusulat sa baba, yung 14. Para may, mahiwalay natin siya, malaman natin kung ilan lang yung gumagamit ng Facebook, ilan lang gumagamit ng Facebook at ng Twitter. Okay, next. So, ilan yung gumagamit ng Twitter? There are 10. So, based sa problem, ganito po yung kalalabasan ng ating Venn diagram. So, ano nang una natin gagawin? Parang kagaya lang po kanina, kaya lang po, dito gumamit tayo ng Venn diagram para mas madali natin ma-imagine kung, kung ilang students ba dapat lahat ang gumagamit ng Facebook lang at ilan yung students ang gumagamit ng Twitter. Pero the solution will be the same. Ano po? So, ibig sabihin, ang una natin isusolve, 14 plus 10 pa rin. So, the answer will be equal to 24. So, there are 24 students who uses Facebook and Twitter. So, yung 24 na to, I-add po natin doon sa tatlo na, gumaga na hindi gumagamit ng Facebook at Twitter. So, magigip po siyang 27. So, next. So, lahat po sila 27. So, nag-exceed ka doon sa universal set. So, pag sinubtract mo po yung 27 minus 25, malalaman na natin kung ilan yung gumagamit ng both networking sites. So, which is now equivalent to 2. Saan natin ilalagay yung 2? Ilalagay po natin siya dito sa gitna. So, dyan po yan. Kasi, ibig sabihin po, yung 2 students na to gumagamit ng Facebook at gumagamit ng Twitter. Okay, next. Ang sunod natin, ba? Ilan yung gumagamit ng Facebook lang at ilan yung gumagamit ng Twitter. So, kung 2 students po gumagamit ng Facebook at Twitter at ang total niya ay 14, so it would be 14 minus 2. Kaya po, ang magiging sagot natin ay 12. So, sa natin nilagay yung 12? Dito na lang sa may taas. Para masabi natin, there are 12 students who uses Facebook only. Next, sa kabila naman tayo sa Twitter, Twitter. So, it would be 10 minus 2. So, that would be equivalent to 8. So, there are 8 students who uses Twitter only. Okay, let us... Generalize the Venn diagram. May I repeat? There are 25 students 
in the universal set. So, 12 of them uses Facebook only. Two students uses Facebook and Twitter. There are 14 students who uses Facebook. There are 10 students who uses Twitter. But there are only 8 students who uses Twitter only. And there are 3 students who did not use any of the social networking sites. So if we're going to add 3 plus 12 plus 2 plus 8, the sum is 25. In a class of 50 students, 18 take mathematics subject, 26 take English subject, and to take both subjects. So here are the questions. How many students take mathematics only? How many students take English subject only? And how many students in the class are not enrolled in either mathematics or English subject? Okay. So we can illustrate the problem using the Venn diagram. So, the universal set is equal to 50 students. Tama po. And then, we'll have the set for mathematics or we can also use set M. So, there are 18 students who take mathematics subject. Next, we also have English or set E. So, these two are the two students who took math and English at the same time. And there are 26 students who take English subject. Okay, so let us analyze the Venn diagram. So, this will be our Venn diagram based on the problem. So, we can now easily answer how many students took mathematics subject only or and at the same time we can also compute how many students who took English subject only. So how are you going to solve that? So it would be 18 minus 2 equals 16. So, there are 16 students who take mathematics subject. Okay, how about English subject? So, nga po, mag-solve po tayo in your scratch paper. Okay, so get check natin kung tama yung sagot niya. So, this would be 26 minus 2. Very good. Minus 2. So, therefore, our answer will be 24. Correct. So, there are 24 students who took English subject only. Okay, so for our last question, how many students who took neither mathematics nor English subject? So how are we going to solve for that? So first, we're going to add 16 plus 2 plus 24. So, pag natutan na po natin, yun po ang isusubtract natin sa 50 para malaman po natin kung ilang students po ba ang hindi nagtitake ng math at hindi po nagtitake ng English subject. So, ilan po yan? 16 plus 2 plus 24. That is 42. So, ibig sabihin po, there are 42 students who are taking mathematics and English subjects.
Okay, so 50 minus 42 para malaman po natin kung ilan yung hindi nagtitake ng math at English. So, ang total po niyan ay 8 po. So, pwede naman po dito isulat sa gilid. So, therefore, there are 8 students who are not taking neither mathematics nor English subject. So, let us now have the conclusion. There are 16 students who took mathematics subject. There are 16 students who take mathematics subject. 24 students who take English subject only. And there are 8 students who did not take neither mathematics nor English subject. Malinaw na po ba? Okay. So, sa tingin ko po, mas naintindihan na yung lesson 3. So, pwede na po tayong magsagot sa lesson 3, activity 3. So, pause the video muna tayo. Kasi magsasagot po kayo dun sa activity. And after po nyan, kasagutan po natin yung ibang items dyan sa activity. Okay, ready na po ba tayo? So, let us now have one problem. So, the problem, in a group of 50 elementary pupils, 30 have Barbie dolls, 20 have teddy bears, and 10 have Barbie dolls and teddy bears. So, letter A, how many pupils have Barbie dolls only? How many pupils have teddy bears only? Remember the word only. Ano po? How many people do not have any of these two? So, walang Barbie doll, wala din teddy bear. Okay. So, pause the video. Okay, let us illustrate this using the Venn diagram. So, the universal set is equal to 50 pupils. And then, these are the pupils who have the Barbie dolls. There are 30 pupils. And for the teddy bears, there are 10 who both have the Barbie dolls and teddy bears. And 25 who has teddy bears. Okay. So this is somewhat similar to the previous problem. So first, you're going to solve for how many pupils have Barbie dolls only. So it would be 30. The solution should be like this. 30 minus 10. So, ang sagot po natin ay 20. Nakuha po ba? Wow, very good. So, 20 pupils have Barbie dolls only. So, next, it would be 25. So, it, ganito dapat yung solution niya po. 25 minus 10 equals 15. So, therefore, there are 15 pupils who have teddy bears only. Okay. So, ilan kaya yung walang Barbie doll at wala din teddy bear? So, first, you add 20 plus 10 
plus 15. That is the total. So the total will be equal to 45. So there are 45 pupils who have Barbie dolls and teddy bears. Then subtract 50 minus 45. The answer is equal to 5. So, pwede naman dito sa kabila. So, that. Okay, nakuha niyo po ba? Wow, very good natin. Pwede na natin masagot yan. So, there are 20 pupils who have Barbie dolls only. There are 15 pupils who have teddy bears only. And there are 5 pupils who do not have any of Barbie dolls and teddy bears. So, nakuha po ba lahat yan? Okay. I would like to thank you all for watching and listening at the same time and sitting while we are discussing the lesson. So I want you to be a keen observer. So this has been in collaboration with Mom Cheryl Mayti Rodriguez and Mom Ferly M. De Los Angeles. So this will be my last video lesson from Module 1 to Module 2. Thank you very much for watching all the videos. This has been Mamba De, and I would like to give you my last quote coming from Benjamin Franklin. So, an investment in knowledge pays the best interest. So, let us study hard and do everything for us to learn every lesson. Thank you!